Welcome. Welcome to Matt and Shane's. Lemaire, Andy, we got motherfucking Murdoch in the tomb. Murder Murdoch. <laughs> Yo, um, yeah, Shane is in Gashville right now, actually. Oof. So it's an old rainy day in yeah. Philadelphia. Him and Nate ran off. Him and Nate ran Him off, Nate, dude. There's yeah. stuff going on right now. You know, like <laughs> Bonnie hear, and Clyde over in Nashville. I always hear rumors, dude. Everyone's always like, oh, the podcast is breaking up. It's, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Shane and Nate yeah. just started their own thing. Panties yeah. broke up. Matt and Shane broke up. I got up. drafted the panties in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Murder Murdoch in the motherfucking yeah. building. All, right. All the rumors are true. Everything you ever read online yeah, is dude. true. It's called Matt in your mouth now. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bit of an upgrade. I'll go for that. <laughs> it's a good trade. Yeah, dude. It's a good trade. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. It's going right to the card. Jesus. Oh, we're good. Right. Yeah. Tell you who's a good producer, Danny Dubs. <laughs> he knows what he's doing, dude. That guy is fucking skilled. <laughs> Who'd you have card, before dude? this, though? Who do you have before this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get personal. Dude. Let's not get fucking Come on, personal. Man. Come on, Andy. Panties no. in the mouth, dude. Pretend we're doing panties in the mouth. Let me let me and Murder Murdoch just sit in on what oh, you guys yeah. usually do. I heard you guys get the guest high as fuck. <laughs> Nate's been doing that, yeah. Because we got good move. We got Alex Grubar on. He does. He's weeding out the stone. Pothead, yeah. He does weeding out the stone. So Nate was like testing his pothead abilities. Yeah, it was getting him too high with and all we, of his gadgets. Nate's like weed gadget man. Yeah, yeah. I believe it. <laughs> yeah, always, we we say he's smoking in like twenty thirty because like everything he has to smoke with, like everyone I see at like the clubs or whatever, they'll like grab it and then they'll pause for a second. They'll be like, "Is this right?" Is that how I'm supposed to? Because like no one knows what the fuck he yeah. has. He's like a is he a big dab guy? Mm. Electric dabs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is that so funny, dude? I don't know. Just electric dabs. He won't. Yeah, he won't smoke them out of that like mousetrap crack pipe that everyone uses. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I gotta throw it in my T1000. <laughs> And fucking yeah. smoke it through Bluetooth. Yeah, so dude. he's been getting everyone high on the T one thousand on the podcast. Yeah. Dude. dude, Nate's just running naked getting high. <laughs> and you don't and you don't uh really smoke weed. No, I'm like very rarely at the end of the day watching a movie. He partakes. Yeah, but yeah. you realize you're sitting in a room full of people ripping electro dabs. <laughs> oh yeah. You're no. high as fuck. I get a good <laughs> E contact high, like hard. <laughs> You get the Wi-Fi. Oh. <laughs> I get that Wi-Fi dab, dude. Uh, also, welcome Murder Murdoch, dude. Oh, we got Murder Murdoch in the tomb. Yeah. Just chilling. Yeah. Hanging tough, dude. Murdoch, I, dude, I was pumped to bring you on. Oh. Reigning thank- champion, by the way. Oh, thank you. Philly's yeah, funniest. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 2022. Pay some fucking respect. Murdoch, oh, welcome 20, to the fucking winner circle, dude. Yeah, thank you. 2021? Yeah. Oh, they didn't do 2022 yet. Yeah. Who do you think? Who do you got winning 2022? Um, hmm. You think a girl will win? I mean, there's nothing weird about Lamar, that. Lamar, are you curious. allowed to no. enter as the king of Philly? <laughs> Maybe, uh, I don't know, Josh Kosh placed second Josh last Kosh. year. So. You think Jay Kosh? What do you think What do you yeah, think maybe. took you to the next level to where you secured um, the throne? Like, Was there a moment you're like, I fucking totally secured the throne? Or like, what were you thinking? Uh, I think every moment up there, I, I mean, you know. You were supreme. Yeah. Yeah, I had everything kind of organized. And, and uh, one thing after another, a lot of, a lot of jokes one after the other as much as I can fit in the set, you know? True. Uh, a lot of stuff. Why don't you and try to be the first two-time winner? True. <laughs> it's No, you can't. Um... What if you trans? <laughs> Serious question. Do th- Oh, wow. That's a th- Yeah, that's a hack to get into the second time. You're like, this time I'm trans. And then you win. And then if I'll you know, go... You're same person. If you huh? go f- that's for- true. Same spirit. Mm. Yeah, but no, no, but your dead name won. So no, they yeah, can't, that's you know, a race from history. They can't you bring go in the second mm-hmm. time as Jennifer, and then the um, third time you'd you be like a furry. <laughs> and I'm like, what What are the furry terms? Fursona. Uh, yeah. Fursona. Or just, you know, the third time would be an animal can. You'd be that's what kin. it is. Animal kin. I was trying to remember five, yeah. what it was. You would ditch humanity altogether and just be animal kin. <laughs> He's like, this is our first panda Philly's funniest or, winner. <laughs> or you would go with a young age. You give them your little age, and mm. then be like that. Technically, you'd be back in time. Yeah, like, yeah but I didn't win yet. It's yeah. gonna be you a have person. To respect my little age. It's gonna be a human. damn. He's I got think. so many options to just keep winning. Murder. You can establish a dy- one man dynasty on Philly's um, funniest. Are non binaries human? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think technically, uh, I think they claim humanity. Yeah, I think, I think be, all people are human. You're yeah. still human if you're overly silly. You know, what I mean? like just because you're super silly Yo, doesn't me mean you're and, not a human. Me okay. and Murdoch don't approve of stuff like that, dude. I'm, I'm just there's asking, nothing, there's dude. nothing silly about completely dude. withdrawing yourself from In the my mind, pool. binaries <laughs> are ones and O's, dude. And if you're non-binary, you're a two. 
Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Explain that. What are you saying? Dude, in my mind, binaries are ones and O's. And True. if you're not a one and O, then you're a two? Come on. Uh, that's fair. Who wants to be a two in the world of ones and O's? Get out of here. Damn, I was I thought I was in the hot seat for making fun of non-binary. <laughs> yeah. And then Lemaire came and was like, I'll save the day and say whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Murder, what do you think about that? <laughs> Yeah, you know, maybe Josh Kosh this year. <laughs> uh, funny. Drew Montana is pretty funny. Drew so pretty are they? Funny. Are they still? Uh, so do they? Do they open the doors to you once you won? Doesn't Helium just like turn around and just fully give you the keys of the kingdom? Um. Well, they they do let me in the building. So. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> well, you know, they. I'm not. I'm not disallowed. What do you what are you talking about? What does about? that mean? I don't, I don't know. I was trying like, to rip like it didn't work. They let you like host and shit. When <laughs> Did you Helium unper unperson you? No. No. Uh no, no. I've Joe's done stuff there. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? I do stuff there. Okay, so they let you host once you want. Yeah. Sick. Posted I've hosted stuff, but I do a lot of stuff outside town too. I'm not uh I'm all around, you know? Hell yeah. Nice. I like the suburbs. I like New Jersey. Jersey's bad. Uh, I take it back. Jersey's a good time. No, nah, Jersey stinks. You, it literally smells. North Jersey smells like ass. Uh, no, it looks like it smells. It smells. No, it smells. It, it looks smells. like it doesn't. It actually smells. Central Jersey. Are you, are you in North Jersey, Gardini? Central Jersey. Central Jersey. Yeah, we start. Yeah. When you hit that bridge, it starts to stink. <laughs> it does. It, no, it, it like literally genuinely smells. It's not Dude, like a. My, f my favorite thing about going back into Jersey from Philly is like the bridge in, where's that, Trenton? Yeah, where it's like the world Trenton makes the world takes. Yeah, you ever see that? Yeah, I don't think so anymore. I don't think I don't <laughs> yeah. I think that's a old, I mean a new slogan. Yeah, they because that right now it has like heavy like Jewish mother energy. <laughs> but like Trenton just makes everything, and all you do is take it. <laughs> yeah, it's making us feel bad. For You're like Trent, you shitty. haven't been putting up numbers in a while. You might want to get a new bridge. <laughs> yeah, that, that. What do they used to make? Like. Steel um, or something? Crime? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of the best criminal like draft picks are from Trenton. <laughs> Just dudes coming home tired, like, long day at the stabbing factory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That sucks, man. It sucks that that town just fell. Dude, they got a triple A hockey team. Is <laughs> Trenton? I thought it was doing all right. Trenton? Nah. Yeah, I mean it's better than it was. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a place to take a bus, you know. It's they like got this spot like a bus call. town. It's like, a connect. It's a bus connecting town. I feel bad for China. Isn't isn't China like locked up right now? For, for Shanghai, Shanghai. Yeah, I Shanghai, heard that. They're yeah. all locked down. Shanghai getting Shanghai for good <laughs> for COVID. Yeah. Shanghai got Shanghai. They're locked up due to COVID. Shanghai, yeah. Shanghai's like you're just like stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> yeah. Well, it sucks. Dude. I was like, I I actually I I inflated an inflatable pool recently, and it was made in China. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, damn, that must be so depressing to like, <laughs> just like as you're locked down. There's probably somebody like once the economy starts faltering, they're like. Come we got something for you to do, and you're just blowing yeah. up inflatable pools, and they send you back to like a cement <laughs> fucking barrack, like barracks. Dude, wait, is that mean? Does that mean we're gonna have to start locking down again too? Or no? I thought only Philly, if you only if no. you let them, dude. Only if you let them. Only I didn't the, let them the first time. Honestly, the first time I was gotta, like, yeah, you gotta have more <laughs> stores where they're like, you guys gotta do this, and they're just like, no, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm good. Dude, I bet it's gonna happen more. Well, it's a all bunch suggested. It's all suggestions now at this point. You know? No, the Philadelphia that, brought yeah, it back. I thought Philly was coming. Oh yeah, but mask. you can you can. You don't have to have your mask on and stuff. Oh, whoa, whoa! You're gonna get us fucking the platform, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was in, uh, I was in the supermarket today, Murdoch, and I, I was, I was taking account who had it on, who didn't. Mm. A lot of people opting out. Yeah, I mean, I was uh, you know, pre-vaccination. I was pretty, uh, you know, but now it's like, you know, I'm, wait, you, you know. were what? Before the vaccination, I wore the mask all the time, but now it's, uh, you know, Since you're that makes sense. Now you're vaxxed. Yeah, yeah. Now you're protected for life. You can't catch that. You can't even catch COVID now that you're vaccinated, right? Um. Well, you. I've we'll never get heard sick that happen. from it. You know what I mean? Like. Okay. So yeah, you don't. All that kind of thing. But you can catch it, but it goes in there and blocks it. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> like, they're just in there waiting for you. The cells or whatever in there waiting for it to show up, and they're like, "Get the fuck out of here, dude!" You ever seen? We're gonna let you in. COVID's playing Red Rover in your body. <laughs> you ever seen uh, Terry T. Office linebacker? No, it is that. <laughs> no, it's a YouTube show. <laughs> Where uh, this guy, he just runs in. It's Wait, like it's a, a whole show? It's not a show. It's like a clip. It's like a thing. 
He uh, it's a he he's uh, he's dressed like a football player, big black guy, and he fucking just tackles people who do who go OL in the office. <laughs> like he, I gotta see that. He, that's he I think I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, because that's what I want to tell everybody. You guys got to really dial back your expectations of how you think the thing was supposed to work. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, obviously initially it was blocking everything, it was perfect, but now. <laughs> Now that the virus is mutated, you guys got to all grow up Matt, and realize can I tell you? you can still test positive, but you're still well protected. Dude, you're not far off from how they like made the 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 uh, the vaccine. I was like looking into it. I watched I watched maybe two 20 minute YouTube videos on it. <laughs> That's <laughs> what you did research. I did you some up? research. Yeah, I research. The, the one thing they said they said so the the mRNA is made to attack the COVID virus. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, what you're saying is kind of right. So it hangs out. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's just drinking coffee. <laughs> How long does it last in your body for once you get it? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I think forever. I thought forever. Does it? I don't know. <laughs> no, I thought it was just. I thought it yeah. was. <clears throat> I thought the vaccine was just chilling for like a cool year. Like it did like a summer abroad in your body. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, I gotta go back to Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, well, all the yeah, all the deadly strains are like like. They're at a style now, so <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We're on like we're, we're on, on the like, non deadly ones. We're on the good ones. Yeah, we're on the dude. common cold shit right now. If you now. get killed yeah. by COVID, you should have died. Yeah. I mean now. <laughs> I was saying now. <laughs> I mean now. I mean now. No, I think all of them. I think they all deserve it. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. I wouldn't have. <laughs> I heard. Do you, co- you think the planet had six million to burn? <laughs> how much was it? What was it? I, I, sorry, that's a weird. I don't number. know. Six I don't million know sounds down. severely inflated. No, no, that was. I was thinking of. A, I was thinking of. A, I got my bad stuff mixed up. My bad. <laughs> it's probably hundred thousand at most. Uh, <laughs> Didn't guys. they like? There was like a survey. Like I don't know. I only have a. I have a high school education. And in one of my classes, where they Which said uh, the no uh, Coatesville. <laughs> Area school, Word. it's called cash. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they said like there was going to be a point where the population reaches like there's so much, and the Earth's going to have to like do its own thing to like. That's what they told you in high school. One of the, yeah, that was one of like a theory they had about population control. So the Earth's going to uh, kill you. Like the Earth's, gonna, the Earth's going to Earth's going to coal like it's going to keep like the Earth. Like the Earth. Did your science teacher earth. call the Earth the Earth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Earth one hundred and one. You yeah. could only you could only ask him questions. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did go to a Detroit, Michigan middle school. Yeah, so, yeah, please take everything I say with a grain, especially you know. I'm sorry, yo, I was goofing. I'm goofing. Nah, dude, Lemaire's my dog. I don't pay attention I to Fauci. F, I listen to Lemaire. The, the F makes more sense than the <laughs> oh. th. It's shorter, and you know, it's yeah. same thing. You know. Yeah, it's French. Oh, Murdoch, <laughs> Murdoch. Once you won Philly's funniest, were people coming for you? Um, um, I don't think so. <laughs> Good. I know how it is, Murdoch. You win. All of a, a sudden, you start, you start to question. You say, "Is this guy really have one of my best interests?" Did he call you up? Are they like, coming for the throne? He's like, Matt, what do I have to do? No, expect? Murdoch never consulted me. I was pissed. I was like, dude, I'm sitting here waiting for you. Uh, am I supposed to m- consult everybody? Yeah, you, uh, dude. We all meet. All the Phillies funniest meet. You didn't I get the jacket. I realized. I mean, I've, get together, dude. I've only talked to. Uh, I, I talked to a bunch, of, probably everybody by now. And uh, mm-hmm. you know, I see David James now and again. Champion. I see, um, dude. If you ever get to talk to comic Anton, you'll be you, you'll finally reach the higher plane. Oh, True. I knew Champion. him. I remember him. Yeah. Yeah. Champion. Oh man. Legend. Yeah, it's good. I, I just know how it is, Murdoch. People start trying to disrespect you once you got the fucking yeah, crown. Bit, yeah. People start coming for your neck. <laughs> I got suspended from helium, dude. You got suspended? Yeah, when I was Philly's funniest, they suspended yeah. me. Why did they suspend you? I got the boot. I was I got caught teaching. Well, I didn't get caught. I was just teaching a comedy class for money because I didn't have health care. <laughs> Some dude found out. Yeah. Some- Wait, you you got <laughs> kicked out for teaching a comedy class? Yeah, bro. At so somewhere I'm saying, else, dude. Yeah. Is, so that was a that was uh, a that was apparently a, a suspendable offense, dude. Oh, unbelievable! Wow, yeah, dude. Just you know, You're doing a class. I thought maybe just teaching a comedy class in in general could be a suspendable. Offense. <laughs> 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 Yo, Murdoch, I didn't have health care. No, I know, I understand. It's okay. Damn. It's okay. <laughs> this podcast new name is Murdoch and the Boys. It is, dude. <laughs> I knew you'd take over. <laughs> I knew you would assess the situation and fully take over. Yeah, it's not my highest point, but again, I had no money, and yeah. I said they were like, "We're going to give you like six hundred bucks to teach this class." Oh, I was like, oh yeah. Oh, I, I how many weeks? I don't know. It was like maybe two months. 
Six hundred. But it was like once a week, that's good. and I yeah. didn't. I literally didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's good money for eight days. Dude, I just showed yeah. up and I'm like, this is just an open mic. Do your material. I'm like we don't yeah. have any. I'm like, just get on stage. <laughs> Riff. Just talk for five minutes. And they're like, oh, goof around, boys. Oh yeah. Yeah, Murdoch. I mean, so what's your status at the club? You're good, right? Yeah, I'm okay. Good. Because like I said, they play games with the funniest, bro. I got. They played with me. I'm like Woody Harrelson from Hunger Games, bro. I'm just trying to help you. Oh, Woody Harrelson. Oh, uh, I, I haven't seen that yet. Nice. Okay. <laughs> is, is that any good? Should I check that out? It's pretty good. Yeah, the camera's it's solid. Yeah. All right. I like the Hunger Games. <laughs> Hunger, Hunger Games, Games is good. Jennifer Hudson or Lawrence. Murdoch, I feel like you're I, Murdoch. I feel like you're icing me out right now. I'm trying to connect <laughs> with you on a championship. <laughs> Murdoch, you're not literally in a cage. I feel like you're icing me out. I'm dude. just not very good at answering <laughs> things. Really? <laughs> Questions? <laughs> well, I don't know. Or maybe I'm really good, and, and then it's like, what are you? You are. You're an elusive dude. You're I answer questions so quickly dude. that it's, uh, I'm not trying to be. No, nah, you're good, brother. I'm in another room. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I have hated you so much, I'm in an entire. We're like, you're not coming room. out for a month, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah, We're I'm hibernating over there. I want here. you to be comfortable. I want you to be comfortable. <laughs> so, Murdoch. What's good, dude? What are you up to? What's the, what's the day to day looking like? What's we're gonna the, go. We're gonna round robin. Um, I just like to interview everybody. What's the day to day? <laughs> well, life is different day to day. I, do I don't do the same thing week to week. It's a different. It's a different thing every mm. every week, every weekend. No routine. Um, keep them guessing. Just a different. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I go to just different shows, mostly outside town, because mm-hmm. that's where the bigger shows are. Really, right. honestly. So you make mm. it sound like you just wake up in places. Um, <laughs> no, I wake up at home. Okay. okay. Uh, come and are you? Are you? If you don't mind, are you sexually active within the walls of your house? Sure. Uh, gross. Okay. Dude. That's what's up. <laughs> okay. Ew. How much? What? I like to interview everybody. Have you got a wife? Is this Joe? okay? Are you sexually um, active with your wife, dude? Whoa, See, whoa. now I'm evasive because, uh, <laughs> dude, I talk about getting pussy all the time. <laughs> I got pussy two weeks ago, um, and I'm due. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming, dude. I can't yeah. wait. Oh, it's it on back dude. order. <laughs> it's, it's coming, now. dude. Supply chain's <laughs> fucking up your pussy. She's got my balls on ice right now. Dude. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't like talking about myself. Uh, Fair enough. What do you like um, to talk about? What's What's kicking in your current wow. events wheel? Oh, current events. Yeah, talk current events. I mean, I you know, I I I'm used to bearing my soul, but um, whatever you want. Dude, he thinks Daniel Radcliffe is going to be a good weird Al. Of course. Why wouldn't he be a good weird Al? Why Hold wouldn't on. he be? Dude, because he's he short. Can do whatever weird he Al wants. picked him. He's short. Weird, weird Al. Al picked Daniel Radcliffe to play yeah, him. Yeah, dude. Who the fuck does he think? What does he think he looks like? <laughs> <laughs> he handed him an it's accordion, a, and he was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> he gave him a he gave him a fucking accordion lessons. Yeah. He gave um, really Daniel yeah. Rat. You think they like fucked around at all? <laughs> no, no. Weird Al's homosexual, right? <laughs> no, respectfully, he's is he, is he heterosexual? No, he has a wife. No, he's he has a wife and a kid. Um, I can talk about Weird Al's personal life. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, talk about that's that. not off limits. You should uh, just do any, that, Murdoch. When anyone asks you anything, just respond as if you're Weird Al. And just do Weird Al's personal. You're a big yeah, fan of like, W. I don't Al's. like this conversation. Just beat it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's oh, he's the he's the greatest he's the greatest ever. No, what was that you just showed me? That was uh, I looked up weird out weird out gay. It's, it's weird out young gay. It's not gay. Yeah, <laughs> bold, bold. That was bold face. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't I didn't I didn't know. I didn't want to assume. I just was. I figured I'd yeah. check gay first before I went to heterosexual. It's also was that, that Google your... let you know though. It's awesome that it, Google can tell the whole world your sexual orientation. Was that in like bold a, face? Dude, that was bold. bold that was bold face letters. Was that like an article or like one of those Quora things? It's, it's one of those. It was an article, Newsweek. Yeah, oh, really? Newsweek. Newsweek. That was oh, definitely okay. now, nah, dude. That was Al's people. So, yeah. like, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta kill this weird out gay narrative. You think Coolio started the gay narrative. <laughs> oh yeah, he was pissed. Who did? Cool, Coolio. Coolio was pissed. Coolio. He covered. <laughs> Cool. Everything is cool with Coolio. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are we sure about that? Yeah. No, I've I've read all the statements that he's made, and he's, he's Coolio's down with Weird Al covering uh, his song. He said he felt stupid for he felt that he that he looked stupid for uh, for being offended by a Weird Al parody. Wait, he was offended. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, he, he was. He was, he was, he was and and now he's embarrassed about being <laughs> offended. 
Yeah. <laughs> By a weird Al. Perry. They gotta make you know the OJ show, like the people versus OJ? They gotta make one of those about Al versus <laughs> the music. Al versus Coolio. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's actually gonna be covered in the biopic. Wait, what uh, bio? Who's going to be playing Coolio? It the fucking one with Daniel Lamar, Radcliffe. Lamar, you got to play Coolio. The thing I came here to promote. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you got you got to lose about fifty more. We're gonna get you in there as Coolio. <laughs> Green on. screen me skinny. <laughs> so, Murdoch, what's Coolio? Or Coolio? What's Al up to? I haven't heard. He hasn't dropped anything. Well, he's written this movie. He's been kind of pitching out uh, projects, and this is what stuck. This is the one that stuck. Um, the biopic. Yeah. Why hasn't he dropped any fire lately? Uh, he will, dude. He's he's done. He's been touring. He's been producing a lot of other other stuff other than music. Like what? Like um, well, he did a kids book. He did a lot. He's did, been doing a lot of touring. He um, he's playing the same old hits. <laughs> yeah, but he's also but he wrote a fucking movie <laughs> too about that's himself. That's easy. Anyone can do that. No, no, but it's gonna be it's gonna be funny. It's gonna be a good movie. Why are we attacking Weird? I'm Al? not attacking him. Oh, look, is, Murdoch, I'm here to get to the bottom of things. No, no, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm here to get to the bottom of Weird Al. We already established he's hetero as fuck. He doesn't owe anybody anything. Okay? What was his last? Who do you think would win a fight, Weird Al or Kenny G? Weird or Al, are they the same person? Those Weird guys Al. would never fight. You'd be surprised. Weird Al's got way better arm strength. You yeah. think so? Weird oh, Al's yeah. jacked. Dude. Yeah, with doing the accordion, yeah. he's definitely... <laughs> That's true. He's definitely way more jacked than Kenny G. Weird Al can squish some heads. <laughs> Dude, and I, I, when I was a kid, I saw him twice, and he did a costume change. <laughs> he did... I was the appropriate age. <laughs> I was a child. <laughs> Wait, you, you saw him? You were in a concert? I saw him two There's times. nothing wrong with that, yeah. It was a child. There's nothing wrong with seeing Weird Al. In I've any seen issue. him fucking four times as an adult. There's nothing wrong with seeing him as any. Yo, they're losing it. Come at me, man. You know dude, what I mean, Murdoch. I have. Dude, I, dude, I have it's been nothing, out there. I have not, if anyone, I've been a yeah. fair level host. You've attacked me for my past <laughs> for running a comedy club out of economic necessity. Well, that was in it. Right, that was a that the, was a light ribbing. Murdoch, you're you're a hundred you're a hundred percent right. It is the most brutal, egregious act you can do <laughs> is run a comedy fucking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are the kind of offers you get when you won Philly's funniest, dude. I got set up, dude. That's why I'm trying to take you yeah. under my wing and be like, dude, uh, Murdoch, shit's not all sweet. You win the fucking thing. People dude, watch come the for quick you. Scene, you don't think that was a setup? You don't think I know that? Mm. Trackman uh, set me up, dude. Trackman. Yeah, oh, you know guy. him. Mm. Oh, yeah. He set me up. What did he do? Really? You, he Joe? saw me sore and he goes, All right, I got something to do. And he set me the fuck up. And he I did the comedy class. And you. they told on me, dude. It was oh, a dude, classic he, bait and switch. Dude, he uh he planted that he planted speaking a Speaking of Weird car. Al, he talks shit on Weird Al, that guy. Brad Trackman? Yeah, he had this whole story where he where he opened for him at like one at like one venue. Yeah. And then he thought he got kicked off the tour, even though he wasn't touring with Weird Al. He had this whole crazy story where he thought Weird Al was jealous of him. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, Weird Al probably fucking this is saw a the story in the another. The, he is it, is, told is, this with a straight face. I'm not kidding. He wait, told Trackman this story. told you this? He said this on um, I what was the podcast? Um, uh, Opie and Anthony. WTF? No, I think it was um, <laughs> Calm Down. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was a smaller Science podcast, versus? but he he straight up said Fresh Air. Ah, okay, let's. <laughs> What's Shade of Pinkett's podcast called? The Red the Table. Red table, red table talk. <laughs> you might be on the Red Table. Dude. Uh, no, so he, but he he said he actually felt like he was like that there was jealousy ass. or something, which is like I mean, insane. there clearly was, dude. He's a comedy god. <laughs> So Al probably saw Trackman and was like, damn, this motherfucker's fire. I gotta get him off the bill. <laughs> I gotta get him off the bill. But Weird Al, when he would have opening acts, they would they would they wouldn't tour with him. They never they would just be picked by the venue and maybe yeah. somebody would do like so, two different things. Have you I confronted looked him into about the fake forums? News? Have you confronted I, him about the fake news he was spreading about WA? Yes, I had a phone conversation with him what? about this. You called him about it? He called me when I made fun of him online. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? It was like, I never lie on Weird Al's name. <laughs> First of all, this is what us comedy teachers do. We wait online and we're like, what the fuck did you say about me? <laughs> so you called, how did the conversation go? You called, uh, you called He the was pissed off that I was making fun of him. <laughs> and uh, what'd you say about him? Uh, you know what I did? I, I, 
this is an insane thing I did. Like, uh, I, I, I changed my profile picture to him and I did like a, a, a generic, like I put in the comedy for the Philly comedy network. Like who wants to come see my comedy class? You know, I, like I, I like, did, like a wow, wow. All right, hold on. Let me just recover. <laughs> Wait, you stole his identity? <laughs> just for a day, you know, just assume. Just assume. So he was mad that you were. You were fucking talking, bringing smut on his name. <laughs> yeah, basically. You were coming at the Comedy Institute. <laughs> you came at his Comedy Institute, dude. Well, isn't it technically a comedy college? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this became a whole thing, and class. he, like, called me, and and uh, and he was really mad, and I, I, like, got to the bottom of this story, which is basically that he, I'm like, dude, he doesn't bring people on tour with him, you know? <laughs> Like what? What? You, what was his rebuttal? I did my research, dude. <laughs> yeah, what was his rebuttal? Um, basically, he uh, he didn't really have much of a rebuttal. <laughs> he was just explaining his part in it. Did he threaten? <laughs> like, did he threaten you at all? No, it kind of, it kind of, everything was like, "Are we cool?" And I was like, "Yeah, I guess we're cool." And sure. now I have his number. So if anybody wants to prank call Brad <laughs> Trackman, how did uh, how did you do your research? Yeah, true. Uh, I went research. across the forums, you know, the Weird Al forums. Yeah, you could the just old ask ones, me. Mostly. I saw him twice. <laughs> yeah, and he saw him twice. <laughs> you know, I looked up about the opening act, and and I yeah. figured, you know, does he switch but, up city to city? Um, he used he used to just have opening acts. Well, that's as in his tours, as in his yeah. like set list. Um, his uh, his like the the uh, he did one tour that he did that. Yeah. But every other every other tour is like a set set list. He never got yeah. caught up in any of that like pedophile stuff, did he? Nope. Dude, his name is on the logs though. I think his what? name's on the logs, dude. He's what? on the Epstein We're flight logs? Name, yeah, He's yeah, on the, I think his name's in the logs. He's on dude. the he was on the plane? I think he was on the but like dude, wait, but also No, Weird Al Weird Al couldn't even get on uh We Are the World. You know what I mean? He was never <laughs> That might be where he got the pull from the biopic, dude. Oh, no, that's where he, he got, got the him. money for it. Can so I, we got that. Was Weird Al on the logs for real? <laughs> no. I think so, dude. No, he is not. Dude, I believe so. No, he is not. <laughs> Yo, he's going to fucking... He's not a pedophile. He's he not, just was on the Stop plane, it. Dude. Yo, Chill, Mert, man. He's going to pretend to be you on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Mert, nah, murder knows, yeah. dude. Murder's two for two on Weird Al. Squash and Weird Al rumors. <laughs> Weird Al, not on the logs. Weird Al, <laughs> hetero. Weird Al, not a pedo. It's going to show up on news. I want to I wanna say the hetero thing, I'm not as... It's okay, you know... If, I don't, you know. Yeah, I don't of course, wanna, you don't yeah, judge, we're, we're but you're judging. saying, yeah, he might got a little sugar in the tank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty uh, plays a rainbow accordion. If you I know don't. What I mean, I I don't think he would he's hide gay. being gay. No, not That's at all. That's the thing. You know what I mean? I don't think no. Be like, oh, he'd he'd lose all that mainstream appeal that he's got if he were gay. You know what I mean? He's, like, main, he's not mainstream. He's mainstream. He is no. mainstream, Joe. Um, but I think you know, if you're homophobic, you're pro you probably. Don't like Weird Al because you're judgmental. <laughs> what, Joe? How do you think? Uh, I I he I think if I you don't like logic. Weird Al, you're homophobic, and if you don't like, the, if you're homophobic, you don't like Weird Al. There's like yeah. a yeah. There's like a. What I don't know why those two Venn things diagram. are exactly there's an the same overlap. people. Yeah. There's an overlap of homophobic and doesn't like Weird Al. Yeah, yeah that's true. They're yeah. not. They're not mutually. Westboro Church hates Weird Al. For sure. God hates Weird Al. They carry the sign, you know? Yeah, Joe. Murdoch, I will say you are a beacon of truth. Everything you said is 100% true. I can't. I, I want to argue. I can't. That's crazy. Anyone yeah. who's against gay dude sees Weird Al and goes, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally unrelated. Because he's weird. It's totally unrelated. Because yeah. he's weird. <laughs> fucking suspenders and mustache. Yeah, it's totally unrelated. But they go, Wait, oh, suspenders? Fuck Unor- I think you're thinking of Urkel. Fucking Joker. <laughs> I don't think I've seen Weird Al in suspenders. So Weird Al's married, right? I, he doesn't wear suspenders. <laughs> he definitely wears suspenders. Dude, he definitely wears suspenders. Please, I think he wore it. Wait, hold on. That's a good Speaking question. Speaking of Urkel, dude, how do you think Ur- uh, Weird Al feels being the second best accordion player of all time to Urkel? <laughs> He's wow, not that's... a real accordion player. Is he a real accordion player? Urkel? Yeah, dude, of course. Is Jaleel White an accordion player? Dude, I mean, he's well, method. Stefan. Yeah. Stefan. yeah. Accordion player. <laughs> he's method, dude. He's method as hell. So, where's suspenders? No, but Jaleel White does play the accordion. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he does play the accordion. I, I wonder who'd be better. Dude, Jaleel White, dude. <laughs> I mean, first of all, Weird Al should acknowledge the fact that he completely just took over 
traditionally black instrument. That's the accordion. The accordion? Yeah. I <laughs> thought that was a, like a Mexican instrument. What? Oh. No, dude. dude no, no mariachi Al bands. Like in South Philly, the, 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 like the people who play. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I don't know where the accordion comes from. From Africa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it come from Africa. Oh, I am so, so sure. They that's used like it a, to cool like down their hearts, like and then German it made a great noise. <laughs> yeah. I think We're it was like, Italy. Sure. I think it's Italy. That feels, yeah, it feels very... Hold on. <laughs> it's not Where'd Mexican. It I can't believe I said that. But they, they play it, it all Germany? across the world. Germany, it's, and uh, then it went to Africa, and then it hit... <laughs> Where's Weird Al from? Where, where's his... Um, uh, Linwood, California. Gotcha. Is he, is he... He's Jewish, right? Nope. Really? He's, uh, I think, Yugoslavian. <laughs> uh, that's that's a... Uh, that was something they made up when they escaped the Holocaust. I think there's like two or three... Yeah. I oh. thought Weird Al was from New Jersey, dude. Nope. Linwood, <laughs> California. Oh, yeah. His I'm original a, name... His original name was yeah. like Weirden, and then they messed it up at Ellis <laughs> Island. <laughs> So now he's Weird dude, Al. I think you got to check that. Weird Al's from Jersey. I bet, dude. He's from like Lindenwald, New Jersey, dude. Is he from Al California? No, I have to dispel this no. rumor now. Yeah, dude. Nah. <laughs> Murder has not said an untrue thing this whole time. Where's he from? Uh, he's from Seattle. California. Where? Downey, California. Ooh. Oh, okay. Maybe that w that's where he was born. Hey. Okay, okay. That's not where he came up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you caught a pre-screening of the biopic? It's still in the editing process. <laughs> Murder, how do you know all this shit, dude? <laughs> I just, I it just finished filming, so it pops gotcha. up in his Google, dude. You know, your shit pops up in your Google. True, that's true. He yeah. covers. You it know, Murdoch's Google Weird Al, and then Google's it's like, it's like, we got he, you, dude. He would post about it every day on Instagram. Or yeah, nice. Facebook. Daniel Radcliffe is closing the scene today. <laughs> that was Weird Al, but uh, I think I tried. I'm sorry, Murder. Yeah. Mm hmm. You got any questions for Lemaire or Andy or myself? Um, I'd like to have an open, totally open forum, dude. Yeah. Oh, what, boy. what do you got? Um, how's everybody doing? Pretty good, man. I feel great. I'm fantastic. Just want, I want everyone to have fun. What's it like in the other room that I'm not in? <laughs> it's pretty tense, bro. Pretty yeah. great. Yeah. You got, got us. These... You got us walking on eggshells out here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> okay. How was he? I didn't know I'd have to bring my A game, dude. <laughs> dude, weird hell. Oh. I'm fucking angry, dude. Why? He's from California. I thought he was straight out of New Jersey. So did I. I did fair. think it was like a New York thing. Yeah. Or something. Like, that's where really? he, he was thinking yeah. about riding the bus. Yeah, because how brave is it to be weird in California? Yeah. It's not fair. that brave. He wasn't Al until he left. The, he was um, just Al until he left the state. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you th Murder, do you think yeah. there's, is there any, does he have any rivals? Like, is there anyone else out there dropping that kind of, the no, same kind of fire? No, everybody, everybody uh, respects him. But there's nobody else. He has no, like, like I mean, Eminem, dude. Eminem had Machine Gun Kelly. Like, is there's no, no fucking. I don't think so. Nah, I don't think. Like, I like, think it feels. I think a lot of the. A lot of the people that have been the most prominent have also had other things like uh, Lonely Island. Those guys yeah. are uh, do pretty well, but they love Al. They, they haven't uh, had him in a song, though. Um, They've had Michael no. Bolton on a song, but they haven't had Weird Al on a song. No, they, like Weird Al on they've a done a photo shoot where they all dressed up like Weird Al. They all the mustaches yeah. and stuff. But like, why is, why hasn't he been on a song with them? Well, maybe someday. Maybe someday. I don't know, dude. I feel like the Lonely Island's been retired. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see what no, happens. I feel like yeah. all modern funny music. But he seems to be good with, uh, you know, all yeah. the Spinal Tap guys. He's, he's not a, you know. What's Spinal Tap? I think he. The, uh, that was like the first mockumentary. Yeah. Were there the mm. rock band? You ever hear like these ones go to eleven? No, you don't know that. No, oh, not man. one bit. Yeah, it's yeah. it's some white bullshit. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, a, yeah. it's a white classic. Only mockumentary I like is The Office. True. What's uh? What's Office what's solid. Weird Al's political leaning? Um, I heard he's a hardcore Trumpist. Um, no, <laughs> he's he's um, I think he's. Democrat, but doesn't doesn't you know lecture people? Doesn't really like. Where'd to you talk get this? About, where'd you get his political leaning from? Um, his um are you projecting your political party on Weird Al? <laughs> uh, uh, well, I don't know. I think I okay. I don't know. <laughs> no, but I think he is a little more left leaning. Just just I side jokes that he's made and little statements when asked and put on the spot. But he doesn't try to like. He doesn't want to do like a Trump song. What's weird? And, and who would who would want to li That's like the Trump song would be old now if he did a Trump song. Yeah, but like a pro Trump song. 
um, a pro con a song about like you know he doesn't do political comedy at all. N- nope. What's no. Weird Al's real name? Alfred Matthew Yankovic. Okay, so Weird Al might be a righty or whatever, but what about Alfred True. Yankovic? What is he? What is he? Where does he lean? I I don't understand your question. <laughs> <laughs> We're two different guys. Weird Al's the character. Alfred's the man. True. Wait, so Weird Al's a hard right. I think he's yeah. really a character so much. I don't know, dude. Except for when that he's mustache. like fat or when he's like, he's Al and he's like heightened weird. But he's, he's Al. You know, he's not like, True. it's not like he's the dice man or something, which is not as much a character as he. You think the dice <laughs> man fucks with Weird Al? Uh, dude, he has to. <laughs> Yeah, he was, has yeah. to when they're at like the the funny character like conventions. <laughs> yeah, he gives Weird out noogies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Weird Al, <laughs> Dice and Weird Al at the same table, just fucking <laughs> true. <laughs> He's knocking over his accordion. The rich little doing faces. Did Did Weird Al have a an affair with Tila Tequila? That'd be bad. Ass. That'd be amazing. Is that no, true? No, he can do better than that. He saved. <laughs> he saved her. He at the used gathering. to date uh, Lorraine Newman. Who's that? Ooh. From SNL, Ooh. original cast member. Really? Yeah, OG, dude. Did they do it? Well, I assume so. How long did they date for? I don't know, a couple of years. Oh, they definitely had sex like a couple times. At least. Sure. At least a couple times. <laughs> at dude. least a couple times. You ever just like fall asleep and just wake up with sex and you're like, oh, no. You know, what? Oh, no. You, no, you say no, you wake no, up you getting know. seven, someone <laughs> having sex with you? Yeah. Dude. What are you? No way. You've never had. You've been that? waking up to how? Like on top of you? No. no like, I, you've never been woken up with with sex before. I keep a strong. I keep strong <laughs> consent lines. Yeah. I keep huh? strong right, consent cool. lines. Well, I guess I'm just the only. Fucking yeah. If a woman did that spirit. to me, I'd fucking freak. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Like it's an unbelievable violation. <laughs> no. It's crazy. Yeah. No. When do they even get consent? I don't know. Yes. How do they get you hard without you knowing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say when a woman wakes when a woman's putting Wait, that snail on no, you to wake you up? What no, do you do? And you just go snail. All right. <laughs> and I, just, I guess it's just I like, guess. Let's go. I don't know. That's True. what happened with me, dude. You just go, oh, do you like this is the like, first ah, sound? It's like, fuck. oh, oh fuck. <laughs> like, yeah. I that would be dude if you accidentally let out like just like eh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have to like adjust mid moan. I was like I almost I almost hit her because I wasn't sure what was happening. That <laughs> is like, that is frightening. Yeah. If you don't know what's about. Sorry, boys. <laughs> oh. That's my cell phone. I'll turn off my Bluetooth. <laughs> Wait, how did that? How did that get in the thing? <laughs> Bluetooth. Bluetooth. The oh. um. No, I want. I want to stop this. We're getting off topic here. Lemire, this isn't time for personal fucking. <laughs> sorry, dude. We're, sorry, we're here to sorry. crack. We're here to. Cra- <laughs> we're here to crack Al, dude. <laughs> crack Al. <laughs> crack Al. So far, we know about Weird Al. Heterosexual. <laughs> Flaming heterosexual. Maybe. Al Maybe. loves to write. Al for Yankovic, not so much. True. Although, dude, you don't think on the road just that, just once, bro. He's just, a pretty focused guy. You know, like you know what I mean? Exactly. But a lot of times those dudes who hyper focus like that need a really need a just release. crack open. <laughs> I don't know. Just I don't crack know. Crack open a groupie. Yeah. I think he he, you know, he really uh he uh runs like a tight ship you know i mean he doesn't get a prince andrew said he ran a tight ship too and he was fucking he was on the lo- but yeah weird out not on the logs we established that uh <laughs> like, he's very ma- he's fucking he's, he's meticulous dude he doesn't like he's he doesn't he's like get near logs. an air conditioner because it might ruin his voice <laughs> and shit like that really know? well he stays at air conditioning that's what i heard in an interview. Mm. Right. So, yeah. He doesn't want so. to wrinkle his skin. He's a vampire. Check that. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah. He doesn't talk much before a show. During, he's very conserves his voice. So, yeah. He's, so, he probably, uh, he probably uh, still saves up the cup of Hermes as well. <laughs> he doesn't spill a seed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, uh, you Does ever Weird Al take adrenochrome? <laughs> no, no way. You ever uh, you hear the thing? You know, pretty down to earth guys. People have been talking about Michael Jackson's real voice. Regular guy, actually. That's the that's the weirdest thing of all. He's just chill. Him he's now. He's just out. is that he's the normalest guy in all of Hollywood. He's just out. That's weird. That's Whoa. the weird part. Whoa! You don't think weird. he has any kinks? 
He definitely does. Weirdo has to have some. Oh, cases. that's what I'm trying to get uh, at. Maybe on some <laughs> some very private, personal level that like that's what where the, though? That's where the kinks happen. But that's dude. why he's weird, dude. It's, You're right. Everything else is normal. Do you he's think being a person? Do you think he's? I, I'd be willing to grant him this. A, he's the most normal dude ever, but he does wear a butt plug 24 <laughs> seven. <laughs> Fair. Uh, I don't. I don't believe there's any evidence to suggest <laughs> this is the case. He's not fact. He's not ruling it out though. True. I mean, yeah, you can't. Nobody can know. Nobody knows who's plugged you technically up. Technically, can't not. know that. Dude, yeah. I bet he taught. It's bu- not within the, uh, you know, confines the of the public. <laughs> uh, you know, any one of us could have a butt plug. That's what I'm How saying. Matter. Yeah. That's not. It doesn't matter at all. Yeah. You but I'm saying, so why is it being brought up? You know, I'm just you saying know, he could be wearing a vibrating butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> See, what you're saying is, he, had, he what's his secret? He can't yeah, be. What's there his has secret? to be something hiding. Nothing bad. I mean, saying? there's nothing wrong with wearing a butt plug 24-7. <laughs> I'm saying I think there's something. I, we got to get to the bottom of this. And maybe it's in the biopic. Uh, Dude, um, maybe the butt plug scene is in the biopic. Where Pops out during a show and he's like, oh, fuck. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. My plug. Maybe, oh, yeah, he's he's just... maybe he has like one toe that's like <laughs> bigger than the others. Do you think Brad Drakman saw the fucking plug? <laughs> he got kicked off the tour? Because yeah. <laughs> it is weird to not bring someone with you reliably on a tour. Why yeah. would you switch no, up like that? No, because he he's he's not. He doesn't bring somebody on it. No, he never brought. He always had to like opening acts. Sure. Just stand up comics. I saw him with a stand up comic back in like 2000. How was it? And he was, you know, you just, you real, you're a kid and you just really want to see Weird Al. He was okay. Do you know who um, it is? I know. I, was I, it Brad Trackman? Uh, my mom said she saw him in ni- 92 and thinks that she saw it's Ray CBGB. Romano open for him. Really? Big yeah, Ray? Yeah, that's what I heard. Um, <laughs> but uh, other than that, like he, uh, what else did he do? Uh, well, yeah, now he has Emo Phillips going on the road with him. Still? Oh, really? Guys like Emo Phillips. Okay, so he's his regular guy. <laughs> yeah, for like this tour, like the tour where he does his, own, his, gotcha. where he does his non-parody song. Okay, I thought you were saying he has a different dude every city. I was like, whoa, that's sus. <laughs> you ever see Emo Phillips? No, I it met him. Emo Phillips, he looks like a corpse. <laughs> Whoa, dude. We're trying to keep it light here, dude. LeMay, why are you getting all any talk any talks like the most animated yeah, person he in the talks world? Like a guy he's like, I am doing jokes like Really? This. Yeah. He's incredibly low key in real life. He's low key in You jokes. can't do that all day, every day. I believe True. that. Yeah, he, he he has like a little you know, I saw him walk out. I, I met him like twice. Kind of looks like Daniel Radcliffe a little. Or I met him <laughs> yeah. once officially. I saw him. Well, I guess I semi met him once, and then what was his deal? Was, was he cool or was he a dick? Um, <laughs> he's a he's a, he's a decent dude. You know, I know nice. some people who know him, and he's he's a good guy. You know, nice. Yeah. Was he as chill as Al, or is it like? Oh yeah, yeah. He's um, he's gentle quiet guy you know he kind of has that persona on stage a little bit so nice all right we gotta we gotta all right we're gonna button the owl talk up <laughs> unless you have anything else you want to talk right. about where Move are we on at? to the three stooges okay <laughs> do you like the stooges yes dude harry curly mo what's the uh no i i, I genuinely don't like the three stooges really uh, i'm gonna you, stop that right you hate there. slapstick yeah. I do not like slapstick comedy. <laughs> I do not like the who's on first bit. I hate that's, that's not you slapstick. That? It's kind of like it. I hate Why that. Why do people say slapstick is physical? Why is everybody always, I guess people think verbal slapstick. Is that like. Don't they hit each other? Who's yeah. on first? Like, like, who's on first? My wife. They do some shit where like. <laughs> not, no. They bend not, down. They found what they first. had. The other guy's walking around with a board, hits him in the head. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> what you got over there? You're doing a lot of giggling. Who? Emo Phillips' wife. Oh, don't be, she, don't get personal, dude. Yeah, come on. She's beautiful babe. woman. She's babe. Okay, well, I bet, dude. Yo, he deserves it for sure, for sure. I bet. Don't get, dude. Definitely. Don't get personal. Yeah, dude. Leave the leave <laughs> the wives out of it, dude. Guys, let me let me say let me tell you guys something about this poster we got above the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I've been looking at it dude, the whole time. <laughs> Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast is brought to you by Displate. Want one of these? What is that? Dude, you've been waiting for it, and now there is a link in our show notes to buy this very poster right up there. It's beautiful, dude. Displayed is a sick idea. Displayed is a one of a kind metal poster. It takes 20 seconds to install. Your poster comes with a magnetic sticker 
Just pop it on the wall. Mm -hmm. No power tools, no damage. And you can easily switch it out for a new poster. They have millions of designs available, many different sexy ladies, <laughs> and officially licensed designs from Bethsaida, Star Wars, Netflix, Ooh. and more. Do they have Dragon Ball Z? And more. Oh, I'll more. check it oh, out. Dude, dude. It, they have a whole section. I, I did check oh, this. More. They, prob they probably have Weird Al posters. Oh, for sure. You can send any image you want, and they'll print it up too. So you can oh. do that as long as it, you know, like the whatever's all right to co to cover it. But yeah, I wanted to get like some real tasteful. Uh, what is it called? Waifu. 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 Yeah. waifu. You got a waifu. Just to put it, because yeah, have like a nice waifu piece. There was a yeah. one of like a lady in lingerie doing a pull up. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Dude, your your wife should be paying Alina. The what? Nothing. Panalina. Nothing. Pan <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, click the link in our description to buy this display right over there and save. Get 27% off, weirdly, when you buy two displays or 34% off when you buy three or more. It's like, all right, it's fucked up. That's crazy. The discount will be automatically applied to your cart when you click our link or use code drenched. When you visit <laughs> displate.com, amazing deal only available for a limited time. That's displate.com code drenched or click the link. Sorry, guys. I had to do a quick it's ad. okay, dude. I had to cool down the doctor. Matt. What's up, dudes? What kind of porn are you watching, dude? Bro, I've been off. So I've been living in an apartment. Yeah. For two months. This waiting. one? No, no, not that. I wish I did. Te Wait. You know. Oh, wait, Murdoch. You're at, sorry. I thought, you, I thought that was uh, Andy. No. <laughs> Murdoch, I, I don't live here. Murdoch, I do not live here. Uh, does the people that own this place Murdoch, know we're here? Don't don't act like that. <laughs> 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 no, for all for all records, I yeah, I technically occupy this every day. Okay, where okay. I sleep is my business, dude. Yeah, dude. You give all this oh. respect to Weird Al's privacy. <laughs> you, you're trying to dox me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. You know, I'm just I'm, trying to riff. You know? I'm, I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm teasing. You, it's a fair question. That's that's something I hide vigorously try to hide the fact that I don't live here. This, this <laughs> is your home, but your garage You could not bring else. it up that you don't live here. Oh, I can. I'm, I'm going to do it because I, I told you I'm, I'm only after the truth. And if I destroy uh, myself in the process, so be it. That's fair. I'm only after the Veritas. Hey, man, do you need somebody to live here? All right, never mind. You could. We could, we could use an old guard dog, Ooh. an old groundskeeper. You just live in the cave. I know you'd like that. <laughs> I heard how I heard how comfy you got on Stoner to, Dads. I'd have to make the tomb bed every day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if there was ever some wayward soul, I'd take them in. Mm. As long as they weren't doing drugs. <laughs> you want to groundskeep? <laughs> when are you moving out of your place? Summer. Maybe I'll have an old ranch hand Ooh. here. <laughs> I'll be coming in, though. This is a place of business. Roll high, dude. I got to work on my painting. You have a girlfriend, though, don't you? Would you guys like ever do it in here? Like, I just want to know. I don't want to get personal. Like, <laughs> if, I'm going, if you're living here, I'm, I'm coming in here. I don't want to come in if you guys are doing it. Dude, they got a full load. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I want. You gave them a full set. They got OnlyFans in here. Dude. Drew. You, guys, <laughs> you walk in with him and his girlfriend. You're like, you said whatever I want. <laughs> that's crass. Dude, that's that's his girlfriend. Dude, he's going to come up and fuck. That's. Dude, it's he open season. Whatever now. You want. If you say anything about someone's girlfriend, you can stab them. Murdoch, didn't you almost get stabbed once? Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, here and there. <laughs> no, you didn't. Someone attack you at the Philadelphia Comedy Awards? Um, oh shit! Mm, the widows, the widows. No, it was the parody awards. Really? Uh, yeah, it was that Mike Proto guy. He had a knife. Yeah. Why did he try to stab you? Why would he stab you? Mike Proto. People? Well. Well, you shouldn't say his name. It's a, it's a serious crime to attack yeah. somebody with a deadly weapon. Yeah, yeah. So let's not talk about but it. But he did try to stab you. <laughs> did, he try to, did he try to stab you or did he just wield a knife at you? Yeah, you know, there's been better days in my life, you know. How did you respond when the, when the blade came out? What did um, you do? I dodged it. Well, he, he actually he tried he tried to get you with it. Was he flashing it or he try he tried to actually stab you? Did you sideswipe it? <laughs> which wait? Which direction did you jump? Um, well, you know, away the you know like away. You know? <laughs> There's a bunch of ways though. Well, you know, like where something is in one direction and you go in the exact opposite it's of like it. So backwards. That's, yeah, there you go. Dude, right. No, for real. Did, did he actually like try to get you with it, or he just flashed the knife? A lot of he people. He basically flash just flashed it, but um. Oh, so we didn't stab you. Yeah, you but you know him. he, you know. And, it's all it's all water under the bridge. This know? all sounds like the we, beginning. We hang of out the all the time now. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you guys chill now? No, <laughs> I have never seen him in my life again. But what was his beef with you? Um, 
uh, basically he was like ripping on me on stage. He was talking shit on me. And then I got up there and was like, what's up? And he, he will got Smith. Found. He, I didn't hit him. He will Smith. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I don't, you know, this is all, this is all like, what is this? 20 years ago or something? I don't, or, I don't, I mean, don't it's know. A cool it's a cool story. Seven, seven years ago. Dude, it's, it's, it's a cool, really it's a cool it. story. If is you're it? uncomfortable talking about, yeah, dude, you it's escaped. Cool you, that's tough as hell. You didn't get cut or I've nothing? I've been, I've been in worse situations. What's the worst that? situation you've ever been in? I think that guy Chased by a bunch of kids in North Philadelphia. For what? How many? Uh, For walking alone at night Uh, when I lived up in North Philadelphia. They treated the, you like a pretty lady? <laughs> no, they all ran after me and I ran away from them, you know, that direction. And, uh... <laughs> Backwards. What were they saying? Were they saying anything? Uh, I think I don't. I think their actions spoke for for <laughs> pretty well. Did they just uh, rush you? Like so you're yeah, there, you dude. A him. bunch of kids tried to roll me. One of them knocked me to the ground. Oh, they actually got you. No, but I hopped right back up, went around to a convenience store. Chill which the that's guy. a pretty convenient store, I'll tell you what. Uh, <laughs> what? Hold on. So you took refuge. In a convenience store, a bunch of against the young, a bunch of young black kids. It's like their monastery. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> you went to Shredder's lair. Yeah, he ran over, and hid behind the hot Cheetos. I'll be safe here. <laughs> it worked. They Joe, worked. what were you wearing? Um, <laughs> I was wearing a hoodie. Oh, Ooh, nah. hold on. So they no. did they knock out game you? <laughs> so they uh they they tried they tried. Did they connect? One of them knocked me to my uh, knocked me down, and I and I I have a I don't have those jeans anymore, but I had a ripped knee in the jeans. Yeah, and now uh you know, and I that was my big scar. I I made right out of that one. Oh, you went down. They not yes, they got you pretty good. No, they just got me to the ground, and I well, hopped if back someone up. hits you in the head and you go to the ground, that's a pretty good hit. Yeah, but compared to being kicked and beaten by, by twelve kids, it's, <laughs> oh, I'll yeah. take it. Yeah, true. <laughs> I true. was proud of being able to get right up. That's true. And then you outran them. That's a you know. Yeah, the agility, dude. It's a feat. Yeah, it's a feat. The yeah. kip up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Teenagers. Talk so right. how long? So what? What did the owner of the convenience store say when you were like, "Sir, asylum, asylum"? <laughs> 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 What did he say? Did he, did he like, was it like in Glorious Bastards? Did you hide under the floorboards or did he, did he just like wait there and they left? Yeah, basically I just waited there <laughs> till they left and then, and then went home, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, always keep my distance from people, especially large Black groups, teams. especially <laughs> yeah, that look like they're just standing there for some odd reason at one o'clock in the morning. Anytime it's a group of yeah. kids sitting anywhere, you better watch your fuck out, dude. I feel like nobody's afraid of black dudes anymore. I feel like they lost the sauce. That's that's because I feel like as soon as Murdoch outran dude, twelve me, kids, dude, Matt, this this is the, come on, man, come on, man. It's the it's the white borders, dude. It's the white the places where they intersect or the those are the docile black people. So we're not gonna fucking encroach on the white people. Go beyond those borders. <laughs> Go beyond those yeah, borders. Was... Joe went beyond those borders <laughs> and found out. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not proud yeah, it was, of it. It but... was uh, it was it was luck, you know. You, you, oh wait, you did it? Huh? Um, Are you saying you attacked Joe? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing ever too bad happened, really. Yeah. Fully. Yeah. Yeah. You know. In the end. What in else? North what other Philadelphia. scary situations have you been in? That's pretty um, scary. That is scary. Uh, weird situations. The cops bother you when you live there sometimes because they're like they think. I think you're cop. If you're in North Philly, particularly before the word gentrification was very popular, uh, like. You're like drugs. like ten years ago, people think I'm out there <laughs> looking for drugs. Think you're copping. Yeah, basically, and you know I'm like I they I remember I just moved into a place and I couldn't remember the address right offhand, and the cop asked like, "What's your address?" And I'm like, "I can't right offhand. I can't." He was like, "You can't remember your own address." <laughs> like, Jeez, these cops are mean. <laughs> so what do you do? How can a cop be mean to me? Cops seem unreasonable. <laughs> what, did, what did you do? Joe, to be fair to uh, the cop, you do have a frenetic energy. Uh True. yeah, but uh, you know, I let I left that <laughs> Yeah. But um you, you do actually a, you, you know do one, one time like... uh one time a comic uh brought me home 
and yeah. it was it was a nice. it was a black guy, uh, black comic. And, yeah, why aren't you saying his name? Okay, I can say his name. What do I you don't... do first? What do you do before you say his name? <laughs> this is the second time Lemare beat him up. <laughs> no, but he was dead. They were definitely profiling him. Okay, it's it oh, was the a, cops oh, you know Omar Scruggs. You guys yeah, know yeah. Omar Scruggs. Yeah, um, he's great. He he drove me up home. He's a mensch, and uh, yeah, they were definitely profiling <laughs> me. Dude, I don't know, man. That's the Jewish He's a good dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, he brought me. He brought me home, and they went and bothered him because they thought I was a because I had long hair at the time. They thought, they thought, they thought I was a prostitute. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. They thought I was a <laughs> prostitute that he was bringing. How home. much do you think you can make a day? Um, probably a lot. I bet, but I, you know, who would, I, who would you be I choose not to. Who would be your clientele? Just um, a lot lizard for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been solicited. Total. Um, no, who solicited you? A guy solicited me uh, once in a. What? You've never been solicited. You've no one's tried no, to. Oh, dude, you didn't have sex with no. Uh, no, <laughs> dude, we don't Joe, all look like pretty ladies from behind. You beat. <laughs> you beat <laughs> I thought this happened to everybody. Joe, um, you beat. You have me beat at every level, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a guy tried to pick me up. Like Joe, has Weird Al ago. ever been? Where were you? Wa- where were you walking? Kind of, kind of near the neighborhood, you know. Oh, but but not kind of near and not smack dab in the middle of it. Yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe near the Parker Hotel or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, People thought you were a little gay for play. Dude, they thought you were some candy. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty young. What'd you at say? The time, you know, I said uh, no, th- no thanks. No thanks. <laughs> I might have not said no. Th- I didn't say anything too mean, but I definitely was like, no. How did he approach? What was his like offer? Like you? Hey, like, hey, you want to? You want to make some money? Uh, he's really skeezy. Like, you didn't even consider it. I mean, no. He was like, yeah. How much money? You need to go like. I mean, it was definitely a guy who's like, I wouldn't fuck that guy if I was gay. Definitely. But he's really giving you money, nasty. though, dude. No way, dude. That th- if you saw this guy. No daddy play. But wait, no. if you are you saying if he was better looking? No. I mean, it'd been a harder bargain for sure. Yeah. What if he gave you five thousand dollars? Um, at the time, he pulls out a suitcase with five thousand dollars, and he's like, "Hey, you want to no. get paid?" No, isn't that crazy? Okay, so no price, no amount of money. Yeah, yeah. right. Is that weird? <laughs> no, I think I think that's straight <laughs> as hell, dude. Yeah, no, Depend- dude. Yeah. You wouldn't sell your pride for ten million dollars. Ten million bucks. Yeah, for your pride. Ten million, Joe. You do one yeah, thing probably. you don't think you'll ever do for ten million dollars. Peck on the cheek? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, weird out and Joe. Joe. Hetero as hell. Joe is Joe is aggressively straight. <laughs> yeah. We can't penetrate this fortress. We know that guy didn't. Yeah, dude. Dude, that's so funny. I'd be dude, I how did you feel? Were you like, what the fuck was that? Or were you just kinda like shaking it off? It was like, well, flattering, I suppose. <laughs> No, he gave a stern no. <laughs> guys, dude. guys, let's, let me tell you something about Mint Mobile. <laughs> Matt and Shane is sponsored by Mint Mobile. When we first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month, I thought, what's the catch? You're telling me I could have a phone I could use to like give young dudes my number and maybe pay them for sex that no one would know about? There isn't a catch, dude. What? For 15 bucks a month, Mint Mobile can sell you wireless service online only does that make sense yeah their secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only they cut the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings directly to you (coughs) so you can get this phone you get a a, a phone i think you need like a a phone that's like jailbroken they call (laughs) it you slide the sim card in 15 bucks a month wireless service i'm going to use it for prank calls that's, that's I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna, do a awesome. Mint, yeah. I'm gonna do Mint Mobile prank calls. Um, yeah. Hey, they brought Rick Moranis back, didn't they? After Mint he Mobile? got punched in the fucking face. <laughs> I think before he got punched in the face. Who brought Rick Moranis back? Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile. Really? They did an ad with him. Well, guys, let me tell you this: all plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. 5Gs. You know what that is? Verizon. It's the team. <laughs> Use your own phone Keep your same phone number And all your existing contacts With any Mint Mobile plan Switch to Mint Mobile And get premium wireless service Starting at just 15 bucks a month To get your new wireless plan For just 15 bucks a month And get the plan shipped to your door For free Go to mintmobile.com Slash drenched That's mintmobile.com Slash drenched Cut your wireless bill To 15 bucks a month At mintmobile.com Slash drenched Alright I'm yeah, done Those ads hang over my head I like yeah, to get them out of the way okay, What are we dude. at time wise here? 
Red hey. Maui? We yeah, they brought back Rick, Rick, Rick Moranis. So After he got knocked the fuck out, dude. I think like two days him? before he got knocked out. Who punched out. him? Um, a bunch of kids and <laughs> a group of young. Wasn't a group of young. Wasn't a group of young Jewish kids? In they should have had a. They should have no. had a convenience store there. No, uh, no yeah, it's like, just, hey, where's just some corals? <laughs> just some guy ran and you and shouldn't knocked have him. Shrunk those kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they knew he was Rick Moranis. <laughs> Turning your squad. What the hell are you turning on, Gardini? What are you pulling up? He's trying to find Rick Moranis getting shot. trying to find him getting crushed. If you hit the mute button on the on the find USB that leg. bastard. Well, let's uh, what do you guys got coming up? We'll slide to the Patreon. Oh, actually, yeah. If you're in in or near Brooklyn, come out to Brooklyn oh, Comedy yeah. Club. Me and Lamare yeah. doing a 420, 420 show. Andy and Lamare save 420. 420. It's in dire straits. Yeah. Don't worry. We're, we're gonna... fucking pissed. 420 we're... sucks now. We're here to make it better. We're here to fix 420. Same. And then uh, also check out Panties in the Mouth. Yeah. And if you like that, patreon.com slash PITM for a dollar. You can yeah. get in with the panty boys. Please help me fix my car. <laughs> yes. Lemaire needs the help. And uh, twitch.tv slash Andy Malfrina. I Twitch stream. Please no, hang out with me. Murder Murdoch, what you got, brother? Uh, I got shows all around. Where are you going? Damo, man. Where are you at? Where can people find? Where can they connect with you, dude? Where can they connect with me? If I you can... want them to. If you don't want them to. Uh, well, you know. I, you mean online? Like, Yeah. You know, You're not your address. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm on I'm on Instagram. You know, at Joseph E Murdoch. Nice. And you know, my my Philly's funniest tape is on YouTube. Nice. Um, and you know, I'm all around. I'm. Where am I next? When does this come out? Tomorrow, dude. Oh Jesus! <laughs> some Great turnaround. Scott. That's some crazy turnaround. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll be in Hershey next month. <laughs> Get out there. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm in random fucking places. It's okay, Lil. That's okay. <laughs> Blue Earl. That's good. All right. Good. Well, they'll Pope, come Pope. check you on Instagram. And get the, they'll get the download, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I have shows. We'll tap like in. How can people week? tap in with you? Tap. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll tap, be at McGooby's tomorrow night. Four twenty. No, not well. When you see this tomorrow night, four twenty-one. McGooby's Joke House. Hey. And then Bananas is the big one, dude. Me, Sid the Kid, Butterly are going up there. The motherfucking superstar, Sean Gardini, will be hosting as well. Yeah. It'll be his fucking birthday. That's going to be a big yeah. one. And afterwards, we're going to fuck around. I'm going to talk to Bananas, open it up, have a little bit of a, uh, you know. Soiree. A little sesh, dude. A little stoner dead sesh. Me and Sid fucked around in Austin, dude. It was too fun. Open it up. It was a lot of fun. What, like a sure. little stoner dad's after the it show? It was just me and Sid came up. Me and Sid, when we when I've been going out, me and Sid have been fucking around on stage afterwards. It's been very fun. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it was It was actually, Austin was a humongous victory for me. So that was, that was a lot of fun out there. So don't sell yourself short. I will be cooped up for about six months after I have this freaking baby. So yeah, dudes, let's slide to the page. Murder Murdoch, you demand. Okay.